Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very interesting week in my life at McGill University. Hey, so it is officially like finals week at McGill, although Life's a little weird, as I'm sure all of you know. Schools are closed um, and finals are online. But I've been really wanting to make a week in my life, like finals week edition for a while. And I figured this might be a fun time to do it just because life is so whack and I can show you guys what I've been up to in this quarantine. I'm still in Montreal. Uh, I have one roommate left. I'm gonna be vlogging Saturday to Friday, but it's not the best representation of my finals week because I actually had two profs cancel the finals. So I only have three finals. The whole month has been like a very steady, workflow i've had like big things every single week and this week's not like too different but it's not like all my work was condensed into like a two-week period how it normally is at mcgill it was like much more spread out so i have been working very hard since like the beginning of april and i'm so ready for school to be over and for it to be summer but yeah i think that's all i have to say let's just get into this video i came in the kitchen to, to get some nice sunlight and show you guys my study plan i do this every like final season divide up my classes and kind of lay out like what i have to do and everything i have left as you can see down here at the bottom i've completed quite a few things those are all checked off things and now we are on my final three finals my international development paper my econ final and my art history final so over on this page i did a nice little calendar kind of showing my study plans for the week and this is Kaylin Cordelia's boyfriend <laughs> you've been in every single vlog I've ever made <laughs> yeah the house is kind of messy there's like boxes everywhere and empty rooms and we have a forest in our garden yeah which is our you mean room. a forest in our living room <laughs> So this is the paper that has been consuming my last few days. I am almost done with it. I just have to like edit it and like I have a couple notes for myself to add in some things to certain paragraphs like didn't quite didn't quite make the mark. It's on like water. So it's not I don't know. It's not like my favorite thing. I'm much more into art papers, but I, 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 Alright, I finished my paper. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, one of my friends is editing it for me, and I'm editing his, but I think it's good to go-ish. It took a while, and I'm like kind of tired of writing it, so I'm definitely ready to turn it in. Lunchtime. I'm just making pasta with broccoli because I have to go to the grocery store later, so I'm kind of low on food, but it should be good. How would you say finals week online has been so far? It's interesting. <laughs> That's all I like to say. <laughs> I feel like a lot of them miss the library. I think it helps a lot of people work. I also can't read any of the books I want to read for my papers. It's so frustrating. Because they're in the library. They're like print books, yeah. I had a lot of leftover hamburger buns, so I made garlic bread with it. And here's my meal. I just submitted my paper and I'm so happy. I'm finally done. I'm done with three of my classes. I only have two classes to go, two finals left. I love getting to check off the boxes. Um, so I'm gonna do right now if I can just get a pen. It's just such a good feeling to be finished with stuff. I have to go like to mail a couple of things at like the post office in Unipri and then go to the grocery store for some milk and groceries. So I might do that today instead of working on my art history final because I kind of want to like take a quick break from school. I've been like very much grinding and so I feel like I definitely deserve maybe like the rest of the day off. Hi! So! Are you, wait, are you going to work out today? I think so. Oh, because I haven't done my workout. Do you want to do it we can work it out at the same time. Okay. My face is wet because I put water on it. <laughs> We can do it in the living room. Yeah, I have to film a quick, a couple more shots for my plant tour video, but. Uh, oh shoot, I was in a different top for all the other clips. Well, gotta do it again. <laughs> I, should, I should start buying nice clothes so I can start a YouTube channel to like, fuck you over. <laughs> the rainbows get super cool on my wall right here. Oh shit, that's actually kind of cool. Very exciting outing, we're going to the store. <laughs> Honestly, going outside and like going to the store and it's doing so tasks is like a highlight of the day. Oh shoot, there's gonna be a line. I always go to the grocery store like right when it opens, so there's no line, but we're going at like, I don't know, uh, right 4 p.m. <laughs> so, there's gonna be a fat line if you go with that. Is okay. Back from the grocery store. Step one, wash your hands. Okay, but funny story at the store, Court. 
I was walking and I had like a lot of cans and a lot of things and I like slipped and I dropped my container of applesauce and it exploded on the floor of Metro. Oh, yeah, isn't that really sad? I also mailed my tax return, which is fantastic. That has been like literally on my to-do list for maybe two weeks. I didn't have any way to access a printer because campus is closed and like all office doors are closed. So I bought fucking printer ink for Gaspar's printer off Amazon, waited like two and a half weeks for it to come. It finally came like two days ago. So I printed out my documents and sent them off. So very excited to receive my tax return. Hey, Corey, do you want to work out? The great part about the world being shut down and having no responsibility to be anywhere is like you can just like structure your day however you want. It's like 5 p.m. The living room is starting to get fantastic evening light. Let's see if she can. Start that in, um, hmm. Hmm. Let's see if you can do a squat. Ready? No. So I reached 100 squats. Now we're going to do five minutes of crunches. I'm going to do like leg raises for our lower abs. Uh, next on the agenda, sorry, I have yet to find a good angle to put the camera, but next on the agenda is blue bridges, so we're just gonna do, you know, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do planks, last thing of our workout. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a minute and a half. Two minutes. Time to stretch. I've been doing like a 30 day um, workout challenge and I'm on I've been doing really really well like working out every single day um, I'm on day I'm on day 10 and I have I've only missed one day and that was, that was at Gaspar's and I still did 50 squats I just didn't do anything else so like I'm still I'm staying on top of it I'm actually doing a pretty good job it's um, dinner time hi Cordelia will you please tell them what you're making homemade pickles um tortilla. I'm actually just making a snack right now carrots oh and pickled onion. cabbage on a corn tortilla Wait. Yeah. I'm having macaroni and cheese. And, and I'm gonna teach Court some classic TikTok moves. Hi. I'm not a dancer. The first of the X's, ready? We're gonna do a classic X. X. A small one. You say X, small one of its own, but sex. And you're gonna lean into it. Oh. That's the word. And like, what about like different running techniques? How do you feel about a... A jog? Okay, you guys ready? No, not ready. Not ready. Not ready at oh, all. No. no one here is ready. Not at all ready. No one here is ready. Okay, get it's gonna be about four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys no. know the trick? No. Yes. Nice. Well, oh, it's not even do. Oh. <laughs> okay, I am calling oh, my yeah. friends from home. <laughs> Julia is really struggling with her background. This is at least better. Uh, we're gonna play the game of Catan. With Kaylin, Cordelia, and Gaspar is here somewhere. Let's play. I need a rest. I have a headache. What is it? I deserve to know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can give me two words or that one, but Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. You're actually... No, 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 I have to pick the two I'm sorry. Words. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm going to do a workout and then get to work because I'm going to try and finish my entire art history final today. I'm vlogging. Oh. We just realized that today is our seven month anniversary. So we're gonna make pancakes for breakfast. My hair is greasy, so dry shampooing it up. Good morning, Kaylin. Morning, Lena. I'm making pancakes over here, blueberry pancakes. Kaylin, you're having a shot. Or a cold. Blueberry banana pancakes finished. What did you guys have for breakfast? A bagel. We're getting started on work now. I have an art history final, as I previously mentioned. And Gaspar, what are you working on today? Um, art history paper and police I final. Taking a break. Having an orange after working hard for about 15 minutes. Hello, so rather than keep working on my art history final and Gaspar's paper, we've decided that we're going to make cookies. We can't make the cookies because uh, I have neglected to see if we have the appropriate and adequate amount of ingredients and we do not have any flour or eggs. So, we are off on a mission. Oh, I wasn't expecting this rain. Finally, after two depths, we found flour and eggs. Our babies. How'd we do? We did awesome. In some exciting news, I haven't started on my work yet, but it's almost dinner time. I just bought some new clothes and I'm hanging out with Gaspar who's getting some fresh air. 
I didn't finish my art history final. Wow, big surprise there. I'm gonna try and finish part one before dinner tonight. It's already eight o'clock though, so I'm gonna like try and zip through. I just have to write 200 words on this picture. It shouldn't be that hard. Let's see if she can do it. Happy Monday, happy 420. Happy one fifth. I'm very excited to finish my art history midterm. I'm speaking it into existence. Three out of 10 done, seven to go. We are on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. I could have a quesadilla with rice and beans. That's a good idea. Beans and rice, a little quesadilla. But I've finished six of my 10 short answer questions and I'm on to my last four. I'm so excited to be done with this. It's like four o'clock and I've written seven. I have three to go. So I guess they're taking me like an hour, which is a long time. I don't want to spend three more hours on this. Two left. I have one more paragraph to write. See this over here on my left? This is a Finnish art history final. Now the focus is completely on econ. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go over to Gaspar's house and have some fun tonight, dinner, whatever, all that kind of stuff, and just celebrate being done with this final. What are you up to? Um, I'm just taking a break. Playing a game of? Survive.io. Good morning, Gaspar went on a run, so I'm gonna do my workout. It's like 8.50, pretty tired. Gaspar's back from his run. You kinda look like a stoner bro. With your mesh pants and your I didn't have any workout stuff, so I, I wore Gaspar's. This is how I've been doing my econ lecture notes. Essentially, I have my slides here, and first I just like write down everything that's on the slide which I have there, and then I take my pen, and then I actually listen to the lecture after I've written down everything on the slide, and then like underline and highlight and like add little notes on the important stuff and kind of the stuff that my prof says that's like not written on the slides, just so I can make sure I get everything down. We love our nice late April weather in Montreal. A great combo of snow and rain kind of pouring down. In other news, my package arrived. I came home just because I had to do stuff, but I'm so excited. This is from Los Angeles Apparel and it's a sweatsuit. Um, but here's the thing. I've been doing a lot of Corona shopping, as you might be able to see. But I had this vision to do like an unboxing video of like everything that I got when I was online shopping and quarantine. But now that my sweatsuit is here, I don't know if I can not open the boxes. Yeah, I couldn't wait, sorry. I'm gonna do the unboxing right now. I changed it to a bathroom because I'm gonna put this on. I've been looking for a beige sweatsuit for a very, very, very long time and I was totally fine with the cheap Target Walmart version, but they are all sold out. So I spent more money and got like a nicer one, but I'm really excited for it. Okay, first impression, I love it. It's a perfect shade of beige. It's like nice and kind of neutral toned. I've been editing this new video for like pretty much all afternoon. It's now 7.45 and I have not finished the econ lecture that I still need to do. So I'm gonna do that after dinner. I'm not going to bed until it's done. Plunging into our late night study session. This is the most beautiful thing I've seen. Only from slides one to 23 are on the final and 24 to 69 are not. I just finished econ, it's 10 o'clock. I'm very tired. Good morning. Look what we have woken up to. It is April 23rd and there is like a blanket of snow covering the ground. Not just like snow that melts when it hits the ground and turns to rain. This is like full snow boot snow. Like I don't know if I really jive with that. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking all of my notes that I have taken from the midterm and like transcribing them onto this document. This was like my midterm study guide, so I have like half of my class notes typed up. And I'm just gonna do that for the other half and then study this document because it's like a lot more concise. Lunchtime, making a burrito with leftovers. I need to go to the store today. I need to get lots of stuff for dinner on Saturday with my friends. We're gonna make like pizza and cake, hopefully. So I have to like go shopping, which is a bit of a hassle. I don't really want to, cause I'm like kind of in my study mode, but I think I have to go today. Got my burrito. 
Hey, hello, I'm getting ready to go to the store. I have all my bags. I have a very, very, very long grocery list. And it would be so helpful if oh. you could just come with me to <laughs> help to me pick store. things up, ah. get ingredients, we're making pizza, but I have to go alone. Oh, it's actually considerably nicer than it was this morning. Uh, my mood has shifted. No, this is actually quite nice. I feel like it's only like a solid like negative one, negative two. Okay, the wind has actually picked up considerably. And I'm going back home because I forgot my friend's package that I have to deliver to her. Oh, so I have to go back and get that. We're in luck, very small line today. Making big moves. I still need garlic and yeast, which I'm on the hunt for. They had no yeast, but I got all this. Success, I found it at Eden. I had to go to two different stores to find yeast, which is absurd. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I wrote two exams today. What are you going to make for dinner, Cord? <laughs> cauliflower. <laughs> oh, just cauliflower? Raw or are you going to steam it? I feel like this jo this vlog is just like a montage reel of me and Cord studying slash a cooking show. Hey everyone! Let's say greetings from Burlington, Washington. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I think if there's anywhere to visit in Washington, it's gotta be Colfax or Wash Tuckna. Wash Tuckna. Yeah, we tried to stop for lunch in Wash Tuckna once. <laughs> I mean, the town is only one block by one block. <laughs> and the only place we could find was a bar and a hotel. A bar and a hotel. And the bar wouldn't let you in because you, you weren't you over in? 21. You weren't over 21 yet. Like, <laughs> so we had to drive another two hours. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Where did you end up getting lunch? Back home in Moscow. <laughs> Ready? We'll go in. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to stop lunch in with Tuckner. Wash For one day to my final. I think it's honestly gonna be fine. I'm not that worried about it because I have access to all my notes, so I don't know how hard it could be. Cord's back from the grocery store. Hi. Coconut milk? We have coconut milk. I don't know anymore. It's, look how cute it is. <laughs> Me and Cord are just talking about how chill of an exam period this is. What were you saying to Kaylin? Um, like we just woke up and we were like lying there and it was like, oh, this would never happen in any other situation. No, like it's crazy. I'm literally like, I don't know what to do for the next 24 hours for my exam because I have all of my notes on my computer. <laughs> like, I'm about to study, but it's like... And you also uh, just need to get above a 60 to pass. Yeah. And also, it's, it's just crazy though because I was like looking at my old exam schedule like before this whole thing happened. And, it was and I had... pretty rough. Yeah, I had three yeah. other exams like this week. Would have been in pain. I know, and they, they were all changed to like, um, like projects slash like cut and made other things worth more points. So I still did a lot of work. I did a lot of like assignments earlier in the month, but like when it comes to exam season, this it wasn't is like stressful. so chill. It was really nice. Also, I've been loving my sweatsuit. Opening that package early was the best decision of my life. I just got this very fat package like in the heavy. mail from my mom. Really she was supposed to send me overalls and ramen, but clearly there's something else in here. So we're gonna see. I called my mom and we're opening the box together. The first thing I got, <laughs> angel hair pasta, two boxes. This is mashed potatoes in a bag from Idaho. Yeah. And then we have ramen. Oh, no, I there's a gift in here, mom. We have a hydro flask. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to use this. Also, arguably the most, the, the best thing my mom got me is a box because we're moving. I don't, know yeah. if I, mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're moving. <laughs> I'm finding it hard to be motivated to study for this final because it was just released that it's gonna be three essay questions for econ. And so I don't really know how to study for that besides just like reading through the study guide I made. Yeah. Should I like talk to you and like... <laughs> Good morning, today's the day of my econ final. I woke up really early, not because I wanted to, just so I couldn't sleep, but it's like eight o'clock. I'm gonna do my workout, have breakfast and like go over all my notes. Hopefully these three essays are short. I'm not having a super good day, so I'm cleaning the kitchen and I wanted to share with you a quick cleaning hack I have. If you don't want to waste money on Swiffer cloths, just like use rags and, and punch them into the Swiffer holes and then just like either get your rag nice and wet with cleaner or you can just spray the floor. It works exactly the same. Here's our nice clean kitchen. Trevor and Sophie are here to move Macy Matthias' stuff. T minus one hour until my final exam. 
I probably could have been studying more, but instead I fell into a bit of a TikTok hole. I got another package to add to my stack. I'm so excited for them all to come so I can fill an unboxing. Okay, the final open, the questions aren't terrible. I'm gonna get started like right away. It's 2 p.m., I need to finish this. But yeah, the questions are like are not that bad. The first one seems kind of hard though, so I don't know. Okay, it's 4.30. I finished two of the questions. The first one was really, really hard. The second one was fine. I'm working on the third one right now and it's medium hard. I'm really, really trying to finish by dinner. Hey, you guys, it's 5.30. It's still super bright for 5.30, which is awesome. But I have finished. My econ final and i'm so happy to be done i'm so excited to just relax and celebrate my birthday tomorrow with my friends i hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how my finals week at mcgill was it's a little unorthodox and different than any finals week i've experienced before hopefully everything will be back to normal soon and next semester will be in mclennan grinding away